So you are no longer under, under the illusion that this relationship, this situation is good for you. You know the truth. You have the truth right in front of you. Welcome seekers of insight and wisdom to Wasted Traditions Tarot, where the veil between the seen and unseen is lifted. I'm thrilled to embark on this journey with you, exploring the mystical realms of the tarot. Join, we as, join me, excuse me, as we uncover the hidden messages, unravel the mysteries, and navigate the pathways of possibility together. And I am Tiffany, your friendly, intuitive, empathic tarot reader. Welcome back to my subscribers and welcome if you're new here. Please consider clicking the subscribe button and turning on notifications so you don't miss anything that I have coming up. <clears throat> this is a collective tarot reading, no particular sign uh, in mind, although I may mention some zodiacs according to what I see with the cards. Please take what resonates with you and leave the rest for someone else. Let's get started. We're going to get the overall energies, <clears throat> some clarification and some oracle, possibly an angel number as well. We have Scorpio coming up, the high priestess, one more spirit. Again, a collective tarot reading. Everything is not for everyone, and that is more than okay. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest. One more spirit. All right. So what we have is the death card with some Scorpio energy, the high priestess, and the lovers with some Gemini energy showing up in the reading so far. So what I feel like with this first card coming out, with the death card coming out first, for someone, your overall energy, your current position, um, there is something shifting, something changing, newness comes about, death to the old, in with the new, especially with a full moon coming up soon. Whenever you receive this message, it is meant for you to hear at that appointed time. It is not a mistake. It is not happenstance. It is divine connection. All right. Let's see what we have coming up here. <clears throat> King of Pentacles, the Magician, Four of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Two of Wands and the Five of Swords. We have Empress Energy. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Empress Energy. So for someone, there is a time of abundance coming towards you. Uh, you could currently be in that season of abundance for someone. <clears throat> so again, with this Death card showing up and the King of Pentacles and the Six of Swords coming out with it, there is an ending with the Six of Swords clarifying the death card. Excuse me. It's time to move on from something that no longer serves you. For someone out there, this has been a long road traveled. And now it's time to travel again. It's time to move on to the next best thing for you. Um, you have There are lessons to be learned with this death card showing up. For someone, there is a true message of hope. I feel with what you have gone through in the recent past <clears throat> for someone and with the information and the experiences you've received that gives you the tools and the knowledge you need to move forward to the next steps of your life is what I'm feeling for someone with the six of swords. It's time to move on. It's time to transition. And then we also have the king of pentacles showing up in your current energy. So with this King of Pentacles showing up to clarify the death card, coupled with the Six of Swords, 
This is your security. You are protected. See, with the Six of Swords here in front of you, that is your protection. And the King of Pentacles is also your security. The knowledge you've gained, the experiences you've gone through has given you a sense of security to move forward. You are protected as you traverse these next steps, this, this next season of your life for someone. And then with the High Priestess coming up in an area of resistance or conflict what i'm feeling for someone with this high priestess um you are there is still something puzzling someone something is puzzling someone with this two of wands showing up under the high priestess it seems like there is some confusion around your next steps what it is you should be doing you are you're, you're feeling like your um your choices are limited you're in a stalemate so to speak there's a lot of indecision happening with someone in particular with this high priestess showing up in the area of conflict and resistance is what I'm feeling. And then we have the magician also here in an area of conflict or resistance coupled with the, the empress. This is very interesting to have these. What I'm feeling... As far as the indecision that, that's coming up here in the area of resistance, you feel, for someone, it's feeling like they don't have enough to make plans for the next steps. There's not enough information for you to move on. And Spirit is here to let you know you have all the information you need. You have all of the experience you need right now to move forward with next steps. But you you feel you're you're feeling confused. You're feeling like you cannot make a decision. You feel like your choices are limited is what I'm feeling with the high priestess, the magician and the two of wands showing up in your area of resistance. Let's move on. I'm going to go ahead to this possible outcome. So we have the lovers, which is Gemini energy showing up in the possible outcome. So with the lovers. Your choices are clear. Your choices are clear. I feel like someone needs to take a step back, take a deep breath, calm yourself, get still because your choices are actually clear. You feel I feel like something is clouding your ability to choose. Something is something is clouding your ability to discern the information you've already received with the things you have gone through in the recent past because then we have the four of pentacles and the five of swords showing up with the gemini energy of the lovers so with the four of pentacles showing up in area um, of the possible outcome i feel like this is a time to this is absolutely a time to calm yourself. Reserve your energy. You're spending too much energy worrying. You're spending too much energy, too much. Someone out there is spending too much time worrying about the future, which we call that uh, anxiety, right? Something that has yet to happen, if it will happen at all. So what I'm feeling with spirit is go with the flow Calm yourself. Conserve your energy. Conserve your peace. You're, you're letting your peace be disturbed is what I'm feeling in this Five of Swords and this final outcome. This is... Right. There is... The, with you being in an indecisive state of being right now and spending too much of your precious peace on not being able to discern the information you have you are this is the conflict this is this is why you're stuck this oh this five of swords is why you're stuck and you cannot make a decision with your two of wands because you think you don't have it and you absolutely do spirit is here to tell you with this lover's card you absolutely have the information in front of you to make the choice that you need to move forward on to the next with this six of swords let's get some clarification for someone out there i feel like There is a lot of confusion. You, you're overthinking. Someone out there is overthinking this process and making it more dif difficult than it needs to be. It absolutely has to end. 
What's happening right now no longer serves you as been sent to be a teacher to you. These experiences are your teacher. These experiences include people as well. And it's time to move on from this job. It's time to move on from this relationship for someone. It's time to move on from the toxic energy and exchange between you and another or a group of people. I feel like, right, that, that, yeah, this absolutely could be a group that is not good for you. It's no longer good for your spirit. Eight of Cups, yeah. Eight of Cups, it's time to move on. The Eight of Cups shows up as I'm talking about moving on from toxic energy. With this final outcome, it's time to move on. And it feels like it's more than one person. Like it's a group, you know, the mob mentality of, you know, misery loves company type thing is what I'm feeling. So it's absolutely time for you to get out of this area of conflict. Get out of this toxic group, this toxic friends group. It could even be a toxic family group for someone out there. If this resonates with you, please hit the like button. If it does not, please leave it for someone else. You are greatly appreciated. Eight of Swords. Right. To get out of this, you are the only one that can get yourself out of this. The Eight of Swords shows up. You are, on, are the only one who can save yourself. No one is coming to save you. You are the hero of your own story. So the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Wands. It's absolutely showing us that you must remove yourself from the negative situations, whether that be a job for someone out there, whether that be a romantic relationship, whether that be a platonic friend group. It's no longer serving you. You have the information you need. You've grown from the information you've gained through these experiences, through these relationships, right? So, Give me more spirit. Okay, yeah, the, the two of swords just jumped out. The decision is yours. The decision is yours. Guard your heart. Do not let your heart be dismayed is what I'm feeling for someone out there. I feel that walking away from this relationship is going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be painful. But the decision is yours to do. You are the only one who can get yourself out of this situation. No one is coming to save you. The choice is yours and you have the ability to do it. You have the strength to do what is necessary. Guard your heart. Go within. You have the answers is what I'm feeling for someone. And then the five of wands. Yeah, because you cannot stay here. The tension is too high. You're not feeling like yourself you're not feeling genuinely happy you're not feeling as joyful for someone out there i feel like your joy has been stolen but you have the opportunity to take back your joy is what i'm feeling with this um this reading overall the the what i get from this for someone you've been hurt for far too long <clears throat> it is absolutely time to move on stand in your be be the leader that you needed when you were younger. Who did think to yourself for someone out there specifically? Who is it you needed to help you along the way when you were 10, 11 and 12? Think about that. What kind of person did you need in your life at that time? And when you get to that answer, now you become exactly who you've always needed because you are the hero of your own story. You are the author of your own story. You get to write the story for this point from this point forward. You get to start the next chapter in your own narrative, in your own strength, in your own power, right? This conflict cannot continue. It cannot continue. Five of Wands, Five of Swords. There is no peace for someone out there. I feel like you are struggling because this is a very close relationship. And I can understand how difficult that feels. 
I've had to do that. I've had to cut ties with very close relationships because they no longer served me. It was actually depleting my joy. It was depleting my confidence. It was depleting my energy. Overall, it was just, it was too much. It was too draining to continue in that relationship. And spirit is letting you know straight out of the gate. The first card out of the gate is the death card. Someone out there, this is your message. This is your confirmation. It's time to move on. It's time to do you, boo. It's time to transform your life. This is a new beginning for you, right? This, the, all things old pass away. Behold, there is something new. There are new choices for you. There is new abundance for you. There is new magic for someone out there. You needed to hear this. You are the magic. Unlock that magic within yourself. Unlock that abundance within yourself. The choice is yours. No one can make this choice for you. You have all of the information you need to move forward and have a joyous, abundant, content life, right? <clears throat> Let's get a message uh, from <sighs> Messages of Cosmic Oracle. Let's see. Spirit, do tell. What is the message for the beloved humans? Again, please take what resonates with you. Leave the rest for someone else. But I feel like I'm speaking specifically to someone. And that someone, someone's could absolutely be uh, Scorpio, could be Gemini, right? Somewhere in your placements. This feels like it's specifically for you, Scorpio or Gemini. But this is for the collective. This is for all, the good of all. This message is meant for you to hear, each and every one of you. You're not here by mistake. This is divine connection. Trust yourself always. Trust others once they've earned it. You see that? You've trust others once. They earned it just from the capacity of you being a human being with a kind heart. So you've trusted others once. Now trust yourself always. And you know, you know it's time to move on. Trust your intuition always, right? That's what this, and it, that's the, there it is. Thank you, spirit. That is your conflict. You have, you have a hard time trusting your intuition because the empress comes up in the area of resistance and spirit is telling you, trust yourself always. You have the answers that you seek. With this Two of Swords, you have the answers that you seek. You have the answers that bring you to the next step forward, the next level up. Trust yourself always, right? Let's get an angel number. Divine Spirit, what's the angel number for our beloved human collective? Do tell. Okay, there it is. It's a jumper. The angel number today is 1515, the big break, innovation, focus, creation, progress, forward movement, skills, and goals. And it, it reads here, an opportunity, help, extra cash, or other support is coming your way. So keep going and have fun when performing your task. The most tremendous success comes from passion. All efforts will be rewarded big time. Right. This you will be rewarded big time when you begin to trust yourself. Always the big break is in front of you. Everything you need is on the inside. The big break. The magician has everything. The magician has power of thought, power of stability, power of emotion, power of action. This is your big break to trust all of these abilities that you have with this high priestess as well. Your angel number is 1515, beloved human, the big break. Here's your opportunity to go to the next level. Here's your opportunity. Here's your opportunity right in front of you. It's time to move on. It's time to transform your life, transform your thinking, right? That's what I'm feeling with this. One more animal spirit oracle card for the beloved human collective. Divine Spirit, do tell. Before we close out this reading, let's get this animal oracle. 
for my spirit, do tell. Okay. Dragonfly spirit. Truth transcends illusion. If this is not on time, I don't know what is. Truth transcends illusion. So you are no longer under, under the illusion that this relationship, this situation is good for you. You know the truth. You have the truth right in front of you. You live your truth now. Truth transcends illusion for you with this dragonfly spirit, beloved human, right? This is time for you to create stability in your life. This is time to get your found the foundation of your life. That's here. Here it is with this four of pentacles, conserving your energy. That's going to be a part of setting that foundation of your life with this dragonfly spirit. It's time to manifest with this dragonfly spirit. You are the magician. You are the empress. Manifest. Trust your intuition. This is groundbreaking for you. It's time to break ground and set the foundation of your life, beloved human, with this dragonfly spirit. Truth transcends illusion. Here's your big break. Trust yourself always. There are no mistakes in what you've gone through, what you just came out of, or what you are still in right now. There's no mistake. It is difficult. It can be painful. It can be sad, right? There can be no fun in it. And yet... I need you to recognize and understand it is for your highest good. It is to give you the information for the next steps of your life, beloved human. There's no mistake here. You are powerful. You are built for this. And nothing can stop you. You are here to save yourself. And spirit is letting you know you absolutely can. The choice is yours. The choice is yours. Be the hero you've always needed. Thank you so much for joining today's collective tarot reading. I appreciate you. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you do not miss any upcoming videos. I, I encourage you to take care of yourself. Take care of your loved ones. Do what's best for you. Your truth transcends illusion and it's time to elevate. It's time to ascend to your next level living. I appreciate you. I will see you soon. Until then, take care.